For as long as I can remember, I've appreciated the art of sculpture and its ability to express ideas and evoke emotions. I especially like outdoor sculpture that coexists with nature, reordering the space that it occupies and sending a human message in a natural setting. During my first year at college at the University of New Hampshire, I was focused on American literature and writing, but I decided to take a sculpture course to explore that kind of artistic expression. Music of those times was often about love and freedom from rock and roll groups such as Led Zeppelin, Joe Cocker, and Simon and Garfunkel, and Sly and the Family Stone. In my sculpture class at UNH, I cast an aluminum sculpture that reflected themes from those times, and that sculpture survived with my parents in New Hampshire. Years later, I rediscovered that sculpture and I brought it to my yard in Maine, where it joined dozens of sculptures that I've collected or created over time. I was happy to be reunited with that UNH sculpture called Amara, but years later, it seemed incomplete. A single Amara sculpture existed in too much solitude, and I decided that a group of these sculptures would better express the sense of joy and freedom that I intended to express. Before long, I had a plaster mold made of Amara, and I produced multiple versions of that sculpture in bronze. These groups of Amara figures now inhabit my home and they convey a message of joy and freedom. Beyond the Amara sculptures and artworks I've collected from other artists, it's been very fulfilling for me to personally create additional sculptures made in stone, welded steel, wood, and other materials.